Today I am going to show you the best ever matcha green tea latte and I'm going to show it to you step by step using the ceremonial process. First, let us take a look at the ingredients. 100% pure matcha. I'm using my own blend here. The taste of the matcha depends exactly on what matcha powder you use. Now there are many types and grades and prices. Unfortunately for matcha, the more expensive variety, the better the tasting they are. So there you go. 100% pure matcha, unsweetened, no creamer added. And then we are going to use, because this is a latte, we're going to use fresh milk. Again, you can use any milk of choice. For those that are lactose intolerant, you can also use soy milk or almond milk. This is fresh milk. And then I am going to make two versions of my most amazing matcha green tea latte. One is sweetened and the other is unsweetened in 12 ounces cups. Now, when I say it is the best ever matcha green tea latte, it has to come in smaller cups. So do not make a large cup because the taste will be diluted it might even get more bitter. This recipe that I'm going to show you today will be perfect just as in small 12 ounces cups. And of course, we are going to use water. Now for my matcha, I normally prefer to blend my matcha powder with room temperature water. But because I'm going to prepare two types of drinks today, one sweetened, and for the sweetened one, how can you make it best ever? Is to use granulated sugar. Do not use syrup, do not use any other flavored syrup, just plain granulated sugar, making the taste really sharp and also unadulterated, not adding any more than what is needed to your drink. For the gadgets, these are what we need. I am not going to use any measuring cup, measuring spoons. I'm going to use a scale. This makes it easier and also more accurate. So this is a scale which has a tear function, so you can always reset it to zero. We also need matcha bowl. For the matcha bowl, it doesn't have to be a real specific matcha bowl. You can use any bowl, a ceramic would do, wide rim so that you have enough room for the whisk. And then, of course, we are going to use a matcha whisk. The more bristles, the better. And here is a matcha stand so that your whisk is always in shape. We also need a matcha spoon. Now, this is just to scoop up your matcha powder into the bowl. And then because this is a ceremonial matcha, we also need a strainer. Now, I always use two cups here. One is to place my strainer and the other, and of course my spoon. These are for the dry gadgets. And then I have here a cup, which I would put warm water in. And the purpose of this is so that every time I use my matcha whisk, I can just rinse it here and then put it back in my matcha stand. Now, what about this one? This is a washer, stainless steel washer, and I am going to show you what is the purpose of this. Let's start by making our unsweetened matcha green tea latte. The color of your matcha has to be vibrant green. If you're using an olive green color, that is most likely lower grade matcha and also used for cooking rather than for ceremonial matcha. Put my strainer there with the washer. Now the purpose of the washer here is to just add weight so that when you strain the matcha, everything will be strained with it. This way you can do it faster instead of using the spoon to actually strain the washer will help you much faster, especially if there's a queue forming in front of you. Okay, so now you have the bowl, the strainer, and the washer there, tear. And now I am going to scoop up five grams of matcha. So the trick to getting concentrated matcha is not in the amount of milk, nor the texture of the milk, but it is in the amount of matcha powder that you put in your drink. So five grams there, okay, that is exactly five grams of this precious powder. And now you will see the purpose of that washer.
and there you go. Nothing is left on the strainer and everything has gone into our bowl. Now put it there and put your matcha scoop there as well. And now I am going to add water. Now for my 12 ounces, what I need is to put 20 milliliters of my warm water. And now I'm going to take it off the scale and then start whisking. The idea here is to put not too much water so that you form a paste. So whisk it in circular motion or W motion. And then we are going to put it back onto the scale to measure the milk in. For the milk, I'm looking at five ounces or 150 milliliters, but I'm going to start with just a bit. So in this case, about 30 milliliters of milk whisk again and then add the rest of the milk so you're aiming to get to 150 milliliters so about 150 milliliters of milk or five ounces the reason why you're measuring it is so that you taste the taste of your matcha green tea latte is consistent of course, if you're doing it at home, you don't have to measure it to precision. But for me, even though I make it at home for myself, I measure my matcha exactly five grams of matcha. Keep whisking until you get bubbly top there. Rinse your matcha whisk in this warm water and then put it back onto the stand. It's time to assemble our drink. Now for premium drinks, you don't really want to put too much ice because it will be diluted with ice. So I'm going to now pour my matcha drink over. And you can see that very, very beautiful color here. Now then you can add a little bit more ice just so that it doesn't look half empty. And this is your best ever matcha green tea latte unsweetened. And now let's make our sweetened matcha green tea latte tear. And the same way we are going to use five grams of matcha powder. Drain with the washer in there. This time I am going to add the same amount of hot water, 20 milliliters of hot water whisk until you get that paste so the reason why you are just adding a little bit of water instead of putting a lot of water here is that you don't want it to be flying all over the place and also you get a better texture of your matcha now some shops they use milk to dissolve the matcha now i find that is not as refreshing as using water first somehow. I've tried both ways and I find that putting water in there first is better. And now I'm going to add my sweetener. Again, if you'd like to use syrup, that is also possible. Some use vanilla syrup, but I like it to be plain matcha. And this time I'm going to use five grams of sh sugar, which is about one teaspoon. So I'm going to use my Tea scoop again. Remember, I'm not using any measuring spoon here. So I'm just using the scale to help me measure my ingredients. If you have a spoon, you can also use a spoon to scoop up your sugar. Now, because my water is hot, my sugar will dissolve here. It's just a little bit of sweetener. You don't really want it to be too sweet for some having a lot of matcha, making it concentrated, the taste will be quite bitter. Adding a little bit of sugar there will make the taste better and also sharper. Of course, a little bit sweeter. Okay, now I'm going to add my milk. There. Add 
some milk to start with. Whisk for a bit. And then add the rest of the milk in. Go up to 150 milliliters. Now the downside is that you really have to measure it and watch the scale. If you have a measuring cup, it'll be easier. You just pour it into your bowl. And now to assemble the drink. Beautiful green color there. And you have your sweetened matcha green tea latte. One of these is unsweetened. No, I'm not sure which one is that, but let me give it a try. Mm. This is definitely the sweetened version. What it should taste like is that it should be very, very fresh, almost grassy, leafy. It's almost like drinking grass, but that's exactly what you are looking for. Very, very fresh, this one with a little bit of sweetness. Mm. Absolutely the best. And then this one, this is the unsweetened one. Mm. The taste is slightly more bitter than this one, but again, the taste is very, very fresh, grassy, and um, not sweet at all. So take your pick, whichever one works better for you. If you have any questions about these recipes, do let me know, comment below. I'll see you again for more of these video tutorials. In the meantime, as always, don't forget to click that subscribe button below. Stay safe, stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Ciao for now.